camping trip number two with modifications. Here's Mr. Ace. Hello. He has his bed now and his mat. Good. So he's laying down. Yeah, this is kind of in the way, but it's what we have to deal with. This car is small. Drive safely. And we are on our way to, I think, 8,300 feet elevation. And we'll set up camp when we get there. And I have some new things to test out. This is our camping spot for the evening. I am in the Cache National Forest. Uh-oh. I say uh-oh because there are people way over there. And I thought Ace heard them. This is a very beautiful spot. It is very dusty. I can hear their generator. And I think music. But this is a nice spot. I really, it was time to pull over because Ace was over the drive. And hopefully I can just let Ace ro run around, but if not, I have a, a long lead for him. So I'm 8,300 feet elevation and it's been 106 today. There's a lot of flies around here. I'm hoping I did remember to bring my thermocell. It's only like 85. Well, it is 85. It's kind of warmer than I would have hoped. But I don't know if you can hear the people in, off in the background, but it is windy. I'm gonna have to use my mic. I did bring my drone. I may fly it around a bit. Lots of flies. I hope the thermosel works with flies, but I'm gonna just go ahead and get camp set up. I think a lot of people visit this. That's why there are so many flies. My next place I want to go with Ace is back to Man the Manti LaSalle National Forest. That's a haul, but tomorrow I'm gonna call and make an appointment with the vet to get Ace medicated. Because I get back home and I'm like, I forget about it and then I immediately remember once we, we get in the car. So, anywho, that's where we're at right now. So I'm gonna get the place set up and the thermosel out. I had to move spots because those people were playing their music so loud. And I drove to a few other locations to thinking that I could maybe also get out of the flies, but now this spot is worse. I'm in the Cache National Forest above Huntsville, and there are so many flies, there's no way that I can do this. I am going to go insane. I don't know if you can see the flies flying around me, but they are landing on me. They're going in my, in my eye, under my glasses. I just don't know if camping is going to happen. I'm, I have the thermosel on. I'm going to wait 30 minutes. It says 15. I'm right by this road. I don't even care. It's the least dusty place there is, and they're shooting now going off somewhere. This may sound really stupid, but th these flies are just crawling on me. They're just crawling on me. But I didn't expect a national forest to be so dusty. I've been to a few national forests and this one is just exceptionally dusty. This place and there's a lot of vegetation here because it's right by the road, so I'm sure nobody wants to camp here, but and it would be manageable, but these flies are really bad. I don't care about camping by that road. Because people are going by so fast anyway, like whatever. But I just don't think I can do these flies. I think this whole trip may need to be canceled. What a waste. I've put so much work into this latest trip. Like, making sure I don't forget everything. Or really anything. Can you see that fly? It landed on my glasses. And it's crawling on my, my face. Okay. Oh, it's on my glasses. Is it inside of my glasses? Can you go? Dude, it's on my finger now. Bro, that is how bad the flies are. 
I just can't. Like, there's some reviews I want to do of cooking items, and I can't. I'm not pulling it out with all these freaking flies. Like, they just, they just land on you. I was walking backwards. I mean, they're just... Cache National Forest. I mean, this connects to Logan, right? How are people camping here? Anyway, so I'm going to wait for about 30 minutes to see if this gets any better. And if not, then it's going to be a bust. I don't, I don't even care. Luckily, I'm not too far away. It's not a three-hour drive or anything, but I will be going to uh, Manti LaSalle. Ace! Just jumped in the front seat. Ace, get out! Oh my gosh, they're biting me! Anyway, I don't think Ace cares to be here either, so I'm gonna give it 30 minutes, okay? Alright, we'll be back. We are just about at the 30 minute mark, and uh, these flies are just. They're too much. They're getting ace too. It's not enjoyable. It's miserable. We're going to let me ace is gonna think I'm leaving him. AC, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. No, get down. Get down. I have a locksmith coming to put this door lock that I for the sliding glass door downstairs he's coming tomorrow but the next day otherwise I'd go well probably not right now anyway after he's done I think I will just depending on things I'll have to see but everything's ready to go and I don't want to take my battery back out of my car because anyway that's another story so AC and I are see they're out there crazy um, we'll attempt to go to the Manti LaSalle Mountains National Forest. So this is a bust and we're leaving. AC. We have arrived to our new destination and now it is raining. It just started to rain once we got here and it doesn't look like it's gonna pass anytime soon. You know what? I do have an emergency poncho. Um, but AC really wants to get out and go to the bathroom, I'm sure, so. Oh my goodness, Ace. We are in the Manti LaSalle National Forest. It is beautiful and I was hoping that more people would be gone. But there's still some people because it's Sunday. It's Sunday evening and so I was hoping that people wouldn't be leaving their trailers here. And I didn't see AC. Just a minute. It's 60, 60 degrees. My spot that I was in, what, a year ago I think, I don't know, is gone. So, it's beautiful though here. AC, just one moment. Oh man. It's gonna be a messy trip. I didn't know it was gonna rain. But, oh, he's having a good time. Woo! Isn't it pretty, Ace? I think this is my favorite national forest in all of Utah that I've been to so far. He's having a grand time. This spot is gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at the pretty fire ring. I did bring my fire pit, but I could just use that. It looks so nice. A little trash to clean up. Phone from the wind. I need to get out my microphone. It's beautiful. I love it. I need to hurry up and get set up. Oh man, face is getting real muddy. And there he's taking a poop. Okay, I'm gonna try to get set up quickly, quickly. No, no, stay over there. Ace is muddy. His 
feet are. Not too bad. We're just trying to ride out this. The rain can't decide if it's coming or going. So, just going to wait for a little bit before I, oh man, finish setting up. Ace, come over here. I don't know what his problem is. Other, no! Ace! Other side! Over here! Come here! No, Ace! Come here! Stay in here! Settle down! Sit! Acey, will you sit? Sit down now! Sit! Settle! Stay! This is a moment where I will be glad to have a van because Ugh, that's a lot of mud. A lot of mud. Uh, I'll be able to stay inside for a bit. I have wipes. Just, it's okay, Rachel, it's okay. I have wipes to clear out the mud. You know, it's fine. Uh, Ace, he's protection, right? You know, he's protection, sure. Yeah. He's running around having a grand time. Well, now it's feeling kind of muggy. Well, I'm gonna check the weather and hopefully the rain isn't gonna last all evening. It's looking pretty gloomy out there. Ace is running wild. He's gonna sleep really well tonight though, so that will be good. I noticed the last time I camped with him, I didn't even put the window covers on because we were out in the middle of nowhere and he was just like, up all night it seemed like just looking out the window on guard or something so tonight I'm gonna be putting the window covers on so he can sleep and but the good thing was when we went home he slept the entire day he was so worn out it was awesome awesome I didn't think it was possible to wear that dog out so I'm gonna check the weather and uh, cope with the mud. Hi Ace! Don't come on me. Okay, great. Every time it's just more mud. Okay, cool. Okay, I put the wood underneath the car and he's pulled it out. This is giving me deja vu from when I reviewed that personal fire pit from, I don't even know how to, know how to pronounce the brand, but okay, cool. Well. This is just what we do, okay? We're okay with this. We are a-okay with it. I was hoping to keep the wood dry, but that was not in Ace's plans. Being helpful, we'll just think of it as being helpful. He's getting all the wood out, tearing up the plastic, you know, so I can pick it up from everywhere. Here is the extension I made for Ace's bed. And the mat was so muddy from him in and out with the rain earlier. He just loves to just, just fly in, just fly in. So the mat is a little bit, well, a lot of it 
cleaner now. I'm going to keep the door closed. There's really nothing I can do about his paws. But I tried these on my review of some utensils. So if you want to see if these are any good, check out that review. Or if you've tried these, let me know what you think. AC, good boy. Good boy, I have something for you. Because I had a little treat. Now your turn. Now these things, oinkies, uh, Ace just chews through things like nobody's business. But these take him a little bit longer than other treats I've tried. So these ones are the Smoke Twists. And it's a uh, no beef hide. Are you ready? It's a good boy. He found a deer hoof, so he's been chewing on that. That's great. This is requiring a great deal of patience out of me camping with Ace because there is a, a massive amount of hair and dirt, a lot of dirt. That is a big struggle for me. I think when people drive by, you know, they can see I'm a female, but then if they see I have a dog, that probably helps my case. But I've been camping for so long now by myself that I really don't get scared and I have things to protect myself. It's going to be a long adjustment to camping with dogs and I don't know if I'll ever adjust. Because there's a lot of dirt already with just me when it's rainy or muddy or whatever but with ace he's he's like a gazelle and he just he runs free and then he dives into the car and and uh i was sitting on the other side you know where he he could he could come in and get out in and out of this side well i was on the other side with the door closed and he thought i was leaving him and he's trying to get up get up get up <sighs> So it's not like I can shut the door from stop and stop him from coming in and tracking all that mud in while it was raining. So uh, unless I want more scratches on my car, and I definitely don't want him doing that on the van. So Ace is, I don't know, I'm going to buy, be buying seat covers right away for the van, which, oh, by the way, is finished being built. And it is also has an estimated ship date of July 31st through August 6th. Could be sooner, could be later, probably is going to be later. But there are things that I'm going to order ahead of time, like some seat covers. Ace will probably maybe be allowed on the front passenger seat. He will not be allowed in the bed. He just won't. He's too big. If he were a small dog, and I could easily clean his paws. I don't know. I could see some benefits of camping with a smaller dog. Uh, large dogs are are unique. He will definitely not be allowed on the bed, but now he's eating it again. So, you okay, bud? Anyway, I think we're going to start a fire and enjoy that since Ace already very kindly opened up the wood for me. I had to put it inside the car so it wouldn't get wet, but we'll get that going and finish getting the rest of my bed set up. His is all set up and ready to roll and then we'll turn in for the night. I'm glad I decided to do the fire because it is helping me to relax, relax. Here is a look at our accommodations for the evening. I brought the Ace's other pad. This has, this is a pad from Amazon and then there's a waterproof one underneath it and then the pad that it came with. So it's already a little bit muddy from Ace earlier today, but he let me wipe off his paws and where Ace, come here, get over here. Stay here, please. Anyway, I just have to be okay with him getting mud and mess 
everywhere. So we are going to go to bed now and hopefully sleep wonderfully. All of the window covers are on and I know Ace is worn out. Huh, mister? Come here. Let me see you. Oh, there's... There, he's a very worn out boy. Okay. Good night. See you in the morning. Good boy. Stay there. You're okay. Stay there. Lay down. Lay down. AC, lay down. Down. Good boy. Good night. It's much better for him. Good night, sweet boy. Mr. AC? Good boy. Mosquitoes are out now. Mosquitoes are back out. Uh, Ace and I slept so well. That is one thing that I am very glad I have is an awesome bed. Ace, no! Ace, out! Uh, I have a very comfortable bed. Ace's new setup for his bed worked really well. He had plenty of space. He was in no rush to get up. And he really, I mean, except for right now, just lounges in the morning anyway. Um, but it is a beautiful, beautiful morning. Let me just spray some mosquito repellent. Um... I may lay back down, not sleep, but just lay down for a bit longer. It's gorgeous here. I love the spot. I love it's not really wet anymore. Ace is having a grand time. I think we'll get along better. See, lemon eucalyptus oil. I thought that this wasn't going to really smell like. I got it from Costco. I like bug spray, but it does, so... I think I may end up staying another night. I don't know if I should drive to see if there's another spot to go to, just for a different scenery, new video. But yeah, it's lovely. It was only about, we got into the 40s last night. So totally manageable. I got up one time to use the restroom. I really tried to limit my water intake so I didn't have to go to the restroom that much. But uh, it was a great night's sleep. Really, really good. Okay, raccoon eyes. Probably. Anyway, looking good. So, I don't know. We'll probably... I'm not a breakfast eater. But we'll just see what we get into in a bit. Breakfast. And, at least for me, my most important meal of the day. Meds. Yeah. Yeah. They help keep me alive. Flies, flies, but nothing like the flies at the beginning. Nothing. the burn. So we are going to be leaving this campsite. Whether or not we go home or find a new site is yet to be seen. So stay tuned for my next video. Hopefully this video was uh, something to look forward to. I didn't eat any dinner because I did a review and uh, I wasn't very hungry last night. So I just ate the campfire s'mores noodles in a cup. So if you want to know it, how those turned out, be sure and check out my review of the Outdoor Element Omni Tensile on my review channel. I will link it in the card and also in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I will see you in my next video.